I got started in modeling in 2005 and my first job that I did was a car show and I found that out just through an acquaintance of mine that told me about it and when I got there um, XM Radio needed some more girls to work for them so I actually jumped ship and worked with XM Radio that night. It was my first job ever. Um, just kind of an event show, you know, you talk to people, you work with people, you sell the product, you just stand and, and smile, you know, for pictures and stuff. I was kind of open to that world at the car show, started to talking to a lot of girls that did it regularly there, um, got hooked up with the agency and I did a casting call with them. I thought, hey, this would be good side money, you know, I was in college, I was poor, I was working part time um, at a retail store. So this was just kind of fun extra money on top of you know having fun doing it. I think as far as nutrition advice, um, it was a little bit of both. It was here's some guidelines to follow, um, but also you were on your own. So um, what you ended up doing was talking a lot with the girls, the other models there, and it was more so you need to stay skinny, um, do what you need to do to do it. Usually for us that meant working with quantity, not so much quality of food. So I remember days of, uh, you know, the day of not eating as much as I normally would because I'm like, I got a show tonight, I got something to do. And afterwards I'd tell my boyfriend, you know, let's go grab a cheeseburger because I'm, I'm dying. So um, other than that, you know, they try to give you some advice here and there, but really it's all about image, be skinny. I would not say that being muscular or being fit was encouraged as a model there. Um, it was all about being skinny, being a size zero, double zero. Um, that whole skinny fat thing that exists where a girl is a size zero but she's got no tone on her was completely acceptable. My body's changed since I started CrossFit, I think for the better. When I first started, I was a little bit worried about getting bulky, but I kind of just rode the wave and went along with it and thought if there's anything that's too much, I can always pull back a little bit, I can always scale down, but the thing that I had on my mind was I want to be able to do one of these wides RX. I came in not being able to do anything RX, so that was my main goal. Um, I do think that that's kind of a myth. If you go to a regular CrossFit gym, you're going to see tons of girls that are my size, just average, um, that aren't bulky. 15 pounds of muscle later, here I am, I'm still wearing a size zero. You know, um, I'm strong for my size, I would like to think, and it's possible to do CrossFit and be fit. When I first started CrossFit, I could not do a pull-up. I had a uh, 135 deadlift and back squat. I had a 35-pound um, overhead squat. I couldn't do any Watt RX except for Michael because that was running, I think, back extensions and sit-ups. I mean, and that's pretty typical. So the weights of my lifts have definitely improved. When I check the workout of the day, I really enjoy some gymnastics movements and also my favorite lift would be the clean and jerk. Um, I love jerking, that sounds really bad. <laughs> okay, me getting stronger has definitely helped areas of my life and I'm going to sound really corny when I say this, but I was, don't tell anyone, on a bowling league like two years ago and uh, that's when I first started CrossFit, and I think I threw an eight pound ball at first, and my game improved, and I started throwing like a 12 pound ball. This is so corny, I can't believe I'm saying this. Um, so yeah, in a weird way, it helped that. Um, it's helped in so many other ways though. Just moving boxes, I mean, moving from one apartment to another, just daily activities. I feel so much more confident doing things, lifting things that I think the average girl would shy away from. These days I eat much different than how I used to eat. Um, I first started off zoning, uh, that was in late 2009. I've now incorporated a zone paleo. No more bread, you know, no grains, no dairy for the most part, maybe a little bit of Greek yogurt here and there, but um, protein, veggies, you know, all that.
Last year was the first year that I ever competed in anything. Um, the Open was a great experience for me because I was able to see if I could do it and push myself to do it. And um, it went well as far as what my expectations were. I didn't make the team, although that's what I tried for. I ended up being an alternate to the team that did end up going to the games. CrossFit Reston places 23rd in the world. Um, so I'm happy about that. This year, I've definitely gotten stronger. Um, I have a lot more confidence in some of the heavier lifts that I didn't have confidence in last year. I'm hoping to improve my placement. I, I, I know I will just because I know I'm in better shape from last year. And hopefully we'll make the team this year. If not, I know it'll be a good experience and it's fun to do.